Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to a new Google Space Program video and to the new DLC, Breaking Ground Update. Well, I think one could call this an update. So, I know I'm slightly late to the, to the party in terms of DLC review and so on and so forth, since there have been videos out for already two days from other rather big, well, rather, a lot bigger YouTubers out there, so mine will not really focus on too much into and the detail and going into every single piece of equipment maybe I'll do a follow-up video um, at a slightly later date with where I'm showing every single new part more or less since there are not really that many parts but in today's video we'll rather focus on a more practical aspect of set parts or at least a rather or just a small variety of parts I've been playing around a little bit with them like with those parts I've tried to build a VTOL SS VTOL plane with the new hinges and some folding up wings and so on and so forth but that's nothing really worth showing so far at least except you know like the general performance of all those parts so yeah I guess one minute into the video it's time to talk more rather about the video not just talking about some random things here and there but the first part of the mission which kind of already passed more or less is simple since it's literally the same as all it has always been no groundbreaking things we just went to the moon with a quite big and slightly overpowered rocket but you know whatever but right now we are approaching the, the lunar surface and we're about to ditch our transfer stage which has, uses as well some DLC parts but from the previous DLC they making um, history DLC, yeah. And so, f for those who don't know or, or don't know yet, what we will use the new parts for today, or what the new parts are to, are used in today's mission. First of all, obviously, grand science space. You know, like a science space off Kerbin, where you can use those new experiments. Some pistons the landing legs which you'll see just in a second since you can see on the side there the landing legs attached um, a rather interesting mechanism of, of a hinge um, to deploy our rover which we brought with us and usually you either have to put on build a tiny rover that you can fit in some sort of um, you know like this the, 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 not cargo bay how is it called of course you could slap it into a cargo bay on an SSTO, but I mean in a service bay, there you go, service bay, or you have to slap it on top of the rocket. But this time, as we touch down here, yes, there we go, um, we placed our rover kind of like you used to place it, but just below our, below our rocket. With the pistons extended, we can have a lot more clearance for landing gear, landing legs and then we can just deploy the rover or at least put it rather in an upright position and <clears throat> now we are just about to drop said rover but first we'll go and transfer I know first we can drop the rover and then we'll transfer the crew my bad I thought I'd transfer first the crew and then the rover but never mind so as you saw there there is a hinge in the behind the docking port and then we just Activate pressed the action group one um, The hinge moved over so that the rover was in an upright position dropping the rover down and That's it now we can lower the landing legs landing Pistons of the craft in theory you could actually lower them before deploying the the rover But if we do that the rover is kind of in a vertical position again since It's a rather back heavy rover and now here you can see me deploying the, the first array, solar array actually, with our engineer. And speaking of different categories of Kerbals, engineer scientists, the engineers give you... Oh, and by the way, I just realized over there that we have some rather fancy backpack um, backpacks there. I haven't noticed them so far, so maybe that's not new, but it definitely looks rather beautifully. Okay, back to what I was trying to say with the Grain Saint Space. So, oh, by the way, I'm placing everything down is pretty self-explanatory. You just pick it up f from one of those canisters where you put on the science equipment. Well, you put the science equipment in the VAB into that small little thing. And then you can just 
put it in the, the inventory of the Kerbal and then you can place it by pressing a small button in the l lower corner on the right side. And you have a lot of different experiments, so I brought two experiments with me and two and three gizmos, so one of them is the command unit which you need to establish an outpost, that's the one on the right. Then we have a communications dish, a solar panel, a radiator and one iron detector thingy, that's the one on the left, and now the, the last one, the seismometer, which I'm placing right now. So those are the, the experiments that are brought with us. We still have a, in theory there would be, I think, two more experiments out there. A goo, mystery goo container that is surveyed, um, observed for longer periods, and a smaller weather station. And so I, w I was speaking about bonuses. Yeah, engineers give you a bonus on the energy production um, items, so like the the RTG and the solar panel, whilst the scientists give you some bonuses for the science equipment. And uh, for the very kind of for the viewers that paid a lot of attention, now the rocket is again standing up, and that's because earlier when I tried to board them it kind of, or switch back to the ship, it kind of uh, tipped over because of my physics warp, since I'm going to use physics warp in just a second after w driving with the rover to the next new object, and that's the new surface features. So in the moon you have those small rocks, and you have three different types of scanning arms in the VAB, and here I'm using the smallest, since that's a rock. The others would be a little bit too big for this rover. And now you can scan this rock and then you can get out of that rock a decent amount of science. Since I'm playing in sandbox, there is obviously no science, but you kind of get the I apologize for that. You kind of get the meaning out of that. So rather interesting part, rather interesting science um kind of Good point from where you can get some science. There you go. Kind of, mm, yeah, lost a bit, lost myself a bit in there. Apologies for that. So, and now it's time to head back home. And um, actually, on this note, this is more or less the entire the showcase of the new thing since, you know, getting back from the moon with a rather simple moon lander. Yeah, moon lander is nothing new for in, that came in this DLC. So, in this update in general since so obviously you need the newest version of KSP from the base game in order to play or install and play the DLCs both so there's also a new making history DLC out there which I have to download so yeah anyways that's I think rather self-explanatory and now <clears throat> yes, skipping forward to the descent we are about to land now with our capsule um, after a successful re-entry. And on this note, I say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you like this pretty short, well, it's not really an overview, but this rather short, quick, you know, showcase of a few possible applications of the new parts. Um, tell me in the comments below if you're interested in more um, update videos or just in general in more videos using these new parts. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, Spaceship, signing out.